Hi there. Okay, so this is the second demonstration um, following on from the last one where I was introducing um, the drawing materials that we're going to be using on the course. Um, this one is really all about mark making um, and to explore um, a little bit more in depth some of these um, drawing materials but also this is a really good exercise just for getting yourself in the mood for drawing it, it's also very good at developing um, and honing your physical motor skills and dexterity because obviously good drawing is all about um, using the the hands and the arms and as well as the mind okay so so we're just going to have have some fun hopefully with this as you can see I've got a, a sheet of A2 paper taped down to the bench so it doesn't move about once I get going. Um, off to the side here I've got um, a range of the familiar materials that I was showing you in the last demonstration and so I'm just going to pick up a, an ordinary Bic Biro. What I'm going to start with is um, a a very random design okay so it's not pre-planned at all and I'm basically just going to take a line for a walk for want of a better way of putting it um, so I'm going to start at the top here and I'm just going to put my pen down on my paper and once I get going I'm not going to lift the pen off the paper until I've taken the line for a walk oops, around the whole area. Okay. So I am going off the sides of the paper because I don't want the format of the paper to interrupt the flow of this because flow is very very important so I just want you to really relax enjoy it not be too precious about it not worry about it we're not sort of trying to create anything that's going to go in, on a gallery wall or anything okay so there you go, there's my random string design. I hope that comes out okay on the video. Right, okay, so now I've got um, a random design full of lots of lovely round loops, all intersecting lines, creating all these lovely little separate shapes throughout the whole of the paper, okay. So the idea of this exercise, as I say, is to explore a little bit more in depth what each of these materials actually does. So I'm going to cover the whole of this from corner to corner everywhere in random marks. So they are random. They're not thought about. They're not pre-planned in any way. Because um, the idea with this is just to kind of really loosen up um, familiarize yourselves with what all of these materials do push them about a little bit add things to them make them work with each other so at the finish you know you might end up with what you consider to be a bit of a mess but at the end of the day it's really not about the outcome it's about the process that's really really important and as I say, it's a warm up exercise. OK, so I'm just going to I'm not going to cover the whole thing because that would make the video far too long. But I am going to start by let's pick up something. I've got this piece of willow charcoal here and I'm going to choose this this top shape there just to start putting in some some marks. As I say, this is just totally coming from my subconscious mind I haven't 
pre-planned to do this at all. So I'm doing. I'm going to do it quite speedily, but I um, don't know if you can see that. So that's the first shape filled in. Okay. Um, what should I choose next? Let's have a go of the drawing ink with the brush. Okay, I'm going to choose this bigger shape over here. Okay, and I'm just going to start putting down some flowy lines, similar to the ones I use for the random design. I'm going to vary the pressure on the brush so you can see how some marks are going to be when I press down, are going to be more defined than the lighter ones when I take the pressure off the edge of the brush. Okay, and as you can see, I'm not sticking within lines or anything. The idea with this is what you finish up with is something that's very, very random indeed. Okay, I've got here a 2B pencil and I'm just going to fill in with some drawn loops. I'm very attracted to loops, organic shapes, I have to say. I tend to gravitate naturally towards those. Okay, this, for, for anybody who is familiar with zentangling, um, it's the practice whereby you take an inch by inch tile and you fill it. You do a similar thing. You do a string, what's known as a string design. This is a graphite, piece of graphite. Um, I'm just using the edge of that just to see what it does. Yeah, so the, the Zentangle, you know, you would fill an inch by inch square with random designs like this. This is similar to that. It's just like doing a big Zentangle, really. Okay. With the focus, I'm just really exploring how these materials behave. Um, I've just picked up a white wax oil crayon here. Um... And I'm just going to put down some some marks again. I'm doing, you know, it's interesting because I'm just so into doing these sort of scribbly loops. It's 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 quite quite an eye opener, really. <laughs> okay. And the reason I did it in white is because I've got some water and and the ink here. So I'm just going to plop it in the water. I'm going to take the ink across those wax marks to get a bit of wax resist going, which is quite nice. Okay, so that's this is now coming up to 10 minutes into the video, so I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, and I, I will show you, I'll come back when I've completed this whole sheet and show you what I've done. Um, and I'll take a photograph of it and post it up. Um, so this is the first um, kind of, you'll start for 10 if you like. This kind of really loosens you up, gets you in the mood, gets you in the right frame of mind for drawing, hopefully. It also helps you to understand how these materials behave um, and what they're, what they're capable of doing, the sort of marks you're able to make, the quality of the line you're able to make. And all of these things will just kind of, you'll absorb on a subconscious level. But when you're actually sat and you're tasked with making a drawing of a still life or a person, these things are, will form part of your your toolkit, if you like, for just knowing how to interpret 
things that you see around you, different textures such as hair, grass, trees, whichever you want to, you're inspired to draw in your environment. These um, mark making techniques really give you the skills to kind of cherry pick what you need as you need it. Okay, so I hope that all makes sense. Um, please do have a go and post up any comments, post up any results, um, interact with each other. And obviously, if you've got any questions at all, just give me a shout. Okay.